tired of copy pasting the navigation bar to each and every file? Not anymore because in this video we will be solving this problem using layout files. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Neha from WebStack. Welcome to another episode on Laravel series. In this video, we will check out the layout files in Laravel. Before getting started, if you are new here, make sure you click on that big subscribe button and do hit the bell icon to get all the latest videos from me. In the last video, we have seen how to create this navigation bar and route these links to different pages. So in case you have not seen that video, check out that video. The link is in the description box below. So let's try to update this navigation bar by creating one more link for register. So we already have created one sign up page uh, in the last video like this. And now we need to like uh, give a new link. So let's just copy paste from the header and write it here. And instead of about us, let me write sign up because we have routed it at this path. So let's write here something called register and save it and now refresh. After refreshing, you can see that we have got this register link. But as soon as I click any other link, it will just vanish. So that means there is a problem and we need to rewrite the code again and again in every page. So to avoid that, we will be using layout files. So layout file is the simple blade file which will actually store the code that you want should not change throughout the website or it should be consistent with all the pages like this navigation bar or it can be your header, footer or even the title. So let's see how to create this layout file. You just need to right click on the view directory, new file and simply write here the file name as layout dot blade dot php and we can write the code which we do not want to change that is navigation bar so we can write the code of navigation bar from this welcome page so what i'll do is this all complete code with css links as well as navigation bar i want to keep it same throughout my pages because i want to keep the design uh, similar so i'll just copy paste this thing and I'll paste it inside the layout file and now what I don't want in layout file is the particulars that is Laravel demo page. So let's just remove this out. Now I want that inside this layout.blade.php file, I want to display every content after this. So what I need to write here is at the rate, then we can write yield and inside it I can write content. So this content is basically the section which will get pasted in place of add the rate yield directive. So directives we will be studying in detail in upcoming videos for blade templates. So now in welcome page, I don't need all this code with CSS, JS files. So I'll just be needing the code for the specifications like home page and then like this. So just copy paste it and remove everything and just paste it here. So that means now the welcome page code has been reduced. So all of this thing is in the layout file now. And in the welcome.blade.php file, what I need to do is I need to include that file with the help of at the rate extends. So when I'm using extends, it will actually include a particular file. So the name of file is layout. And after that, I'll register a section for the content which actually uh, will get displayed uh, when the browser gets opened. So I'll just write here content. And then you need to close the section. So I'll write at the rate end section. So now it tells the Blade template that this section which comes under the content it needs to be pasted here in the layout file so let's try save it and execute it on the browser again so let's refresh the page after refreshing you can see that we have this register link as it is 
So now let's copy paste the same thing in the other uh, pages as well. So I'll just show you about the products page. So instead of all this code, we just need the content which needs to get displayed in the products page. So let's just copy it and remove everything inside this file and just paste it here. Let's first write the extents and then we have to provide the name of the file that is layout. Then we have to register a section that is actually content and then we can write at the rate end, oops, at the rate end section and that's it. Now you need to write the section inside it which you want to get it displayed on the browser. So let's just copy paste it and that's it. So let's see in the browser refresh the browser again so now if i click on products you can see the register is retained on my page that means anything that needs to be changed in the navigation bar needs to be changed only in the layout.blade.php file so if i include one more link here let's copy paste it again and let's write a link something called this and let's say home new or something like this uh, this is just a dummy page so let's see whether it gets displayed in every page or not that means if i click on products so home new is getting displayed and now if i click on home page again this link is getting displayed include the files in contact us page about us page as well as sign up page so let's just do it Let's just try this again and if I now click on the contact field, yes, I can see the flinks here and if I go to about us page, then yes, I'm getting the same navigation bar in about us page as well. So let's check this out inside the developer tools as well. So if I open my developer tools and I visit any of the pages like we can visit about us, so you can check that below this navigation link, we have this division in which this about us page context is written that means this code has been uh, copied below the navigation bar where you have written this yield content so the position of this yield content is very important now if i just uh, cut it from here and i paste it above the navigation bar and save it and just refresh the page again then you can check that this about us page context is written above the navigation bar and the code is copied above this navigation. So this yield position is really very important and this defines where your content will be actually getting copied into your web page. So let's keep this as it is where it was and refresh the page again. So let's try one more thing inside this video. So if I want to change the title, then you can check if I click on products, then the product title should be displayed. If I click contact us, contact should be displayed here. But actually it is displaying Laravel on each page. So we can do that using layout pages. So let's see how we can do that. So if I go to layout.blade.php, then you can see inside title, we are having this Laravel. Instead of this, we can write simply as yield. And then inside it, we can yield something called, you can write anything inside here like title. So if I yield this title, then I have to write this inside the pages as well. So I need to provide the section for title here. Let's say at the rate section and then provide here the section name as title. Now you have to end the section as well. So that's it. And you need to provide the content here like it's a home page. So I'll just write home. So let's copy it and just paste it in other pages as well. Let's paste it here and change this home to products. And then in about us, we'll just copy paste again and we'll change it as 
about us the last but not the least let's change it here as well as contact us and we are done that means whatever section is associated under this title will be yielded inside this layout file in the title tags so if i just go to the browser again and i just check that if i just click about us page then you can check the title is about us and i go to products then it is products if i go to home page it will give me the title as home page so this is how you can use the layout pages inside laravel which is really helpful when it comes to large projects where you cannot rewrite the code every time so that's it for this video guys if you like the content please give the thumbs up in the comment section below and do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from me so see you in the next video